It is official. July 20th, 2024 at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas might be the greatest exhibition bout in recent history. Former heavyweight champion and the baddest man on earth, Mike Tyson versus the YouTube sensation turned boxer, Jake Paul. Jake Paul has fought famous fighters like Tyron Woodley. Just step into the... Oh! Nate Diaz. Oh, left hook is down. Left hook sends Nate Diaz to the canvas. Ben Askren. Jake, get my motherfucking money, Jake. Get my motherfucking money, Jake. And even Anderson Silva. Aggressive Silva, and this is what you want. Oh. Silva knocked down by Paul. Now it's Mike Tyson's turn. For Mike, this is his second stint ever since returning from professional boxing. Since fighting Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, which was billed as Lockdown Knockdown, which coincidentally had Jake Paul featured in the undercard when he fought his second career boxing match against former NBA star Nate Robinson. Mike has been long gone from boxing. His last professional fight was way back in 2005 when he lost to Irish-born journeyman Kevin McBride. It was an inglorious finish. By round six, Mike was essentially finished. He was worn down by his younger, much bigger opponent. And he's having difficulty on, getting up. 15 years later, Mike brought back his gloves and fought Roy Jones Jr. And as a surprise to many, the exhibition match was actually decent. Mike put up a great fight, proving that he still had the touch and that glimpse of power from the former heavyweight champion. It resulted in a split draw, and fans were expecting that Mike would be back in the ring for more exhibition matches, but Mike did not really have an opponent. Not until 2024, when this one YouTuber turned boxer challenged Iron Mike. Mike's known Jake Paul for a long time now. He's aware of Jake Paul's accolades in boxing, and of course, the bag his opponents make every fight. Mike even acknowledged Paul, saying he has massive balls. Yo, wait, wait, wait. He got wait, balls. Wait. He got the fucking balls. When you see a white boy with balls, you know. But ever since Jake has been taking on MMA legends and some of the brightest stars in the fighting business, there's one name that stood out and that many people wanted to see him fight. Mike Tyson. It's been over a year since the buzz and it's finally happening. Here's what Mike and Joe Rogan had to say a year ago when Tyson was teased about fighting Jake Paul. You versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber, takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. I love that. Sounds good. Hey, oh everybody, my listen, God. Continue, Are please. you listening to this? <laughs> if he's willing to do it, that fight would be gigantic. Because, oh, first of all, everybody would want to see yeah. what. Let's do it, Jakey. Mike was also asked by Israel Adesanya whether he's going to fight either Logan or Jake Paul on hot boxing. And here's what he said. Talking about him fighting you or you fighting him or Logan, is that something that's still... I love beat these fuck <laughs> <laughs> Let me at him. I'm going to straight at him, fool. <laughs> you know, oh, no, you're not going to hold back. Wagon. After a year of teasing, the hype slowed down as Jake Paul took on multiple fights. Jake Paul suffered his very first loss in his boxing career against Tommy Fury via a split decision. He vowed to fight amateur and professional boxers to continue his own pursuit of fighting for world championships. Paul snatched two victories against Andre August and Ryan Borland at the cruiserweight limit of 200 pounds following the loss against Fury. When it seemed like Paul would venture on a deep, boxing run fighting pro boxers, he then dropped a bomb when he announced his next fight, the true money fight against the former heavyweight champion, the 58-year-old Mike Tyson. Of course, the fight drew flack from all around the fighting community, a 58-year-old against a 27-year-old who you could argue is entering his prime. But for Mike, he could never care less. Whenever he fought inside that boxing ring, expect him to go out there and kill, no matter the the age or the circumstances. How did you feel about the guys you were in the ring with? Um, I wanted to kill them. And of course, eight rounds of boxing for millions of dollars, it's too good to turn down. Right from the get-go, Mike Tyson went straight to training in Las Vegas. And oh boy, he looked dangerous as hell. He looked like prime Mike Tyson in these training footages. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
The speed, the agility, and most especially, his power were still there. The physique was impeccable. Well, it did not help that Jake Paul was talking a lot of trash just to promote this fight. If I were him, I'm not gonna piss off Mike for real. In his latest videos, Jake Paul even mocked Tyson and imitated the ear-biting incident against Evander Holyfield. He even imitated Mike's tattoo. He's got a right here. And not only do I have the honor of fighting one of the two most famous boxers to ever live. On a recent podcast, Jake Paul even said that he was down to get his ear bitten down by Mike Tyson. Isn't Jake Paul scared like he could bite off his ear? And I'm like, guys, okay, you're over exaggerating. Like Mike, I mean, obviously it doesn't happen in the past, but he's not that person. I don't think he's that Yeah. Person, but are you scared? <laughs> like, would you, how do you, you feel about that? I would be down for him to bite my ear off. Because <laughs> that, that shit... Like, that shit would go so viral, like... Be careful what you wish for, Jake. In Jake Paul's recent videos on YouTube, he was seen imitating some of Mike Tyson's legendary moments from his career. His iconic photo with his tiger. July 20th, be there. Good boy. His aggressive interviews. Signed the contract, big boy. He signed the contract. Some of the memorable quotes from Mike. Everything. Jake was really selling this fight. You punk ass white boy, he crazy fighter pay, putting woman's mighty on a pedestal. Look what I done for this sport. You won't shit without me. There's even a clip there where he tells his brother, Logan Paul, for the first time that he was fighting Mike live on Netflix. I'm gonna fight Mike Tyson on Netflix. Yeah. But if I were Jake, I would go straight to training because Mike is beefing up and he's preparing like this was going to be the last fight of his life. He'll be out there hunting. Look at Mike, almost folding his trainer up in two as he threw those massive body punches. But what has Jake to say about these training videos of Mike? Well, I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends the myths because you're iron mike tyson but i have an iron chin i think people are underestimating that me being able to deal with his power not going to lie jake paul was looking kind of scared when he saw that footage maybe he realized that he was not going to fight some random 58 year old guy he's fighting mike tyson himself he also reacted to mike's training in a stream with aiden ross where both he and aiden could not believe how mike was moving like that at his age his natural power and talent are irreplaceable yeah he's he's this dog though and he's still got the movement oh my god never mind oh my god uh, how's he still doing that at 60? With Mike vigorously training for the Jake Paul fight, he has some serious threats to Jake Paul during his training that will make anyone shiver in fear. Day three. Ah! Day three. You still want to with me? Mike even left his own podcast, Hot Boxing, to further commit to boxing and left a message to the fans of his podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, these are my final recordings of Hot Boxing. I really enjoy being a part of this journey and all the people that I met, the remarkable people that I met and interviewed. And by now, for me, this is my next chapter in life. This just shows Mike's dedication to training and building himself up for the massive fight against Jake Paul on July 20th. Now, there's many speculations about the rules for the fight. There's some early rumors that both Mike Tyson and Jake Paul would wear headgear for the fight, but that was quickly debunked by Paul's business partner, Nakisa Bedarian. There's also this rumor that both fighters would be using bigger 18-ounce gloves in order to help prevent serious injury from either fighter. Those rumors have been neither confirmed nor dispelled. Jake and Tyson would also want the fight to be an official professional bout, but that decision must be made by the Texas Commission, and no decision has been made yet. The undercard for the Tyson Paul fight has not yet been announced, but some celebrity fighters, as well as some pro boxers, wanted a share of the spotlight. Who would not want to be on a Mike Tyson undercard? Joe Rogan shared a piece of his mind about fighting a guy like Mike Tyson in his podcast, and he has a fair warning to Jake Paul. I don't give a f if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. If Jake Paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just bobbing and weaving, he's going to have a, a recognition. Yeah. But some big names in the fighting industry thought otherwise, like the former MMA fighter Chael Sonnen, who was concerned about how Mike would fare against a much younger fighter like Jake Paul. 
Can Mike still beat Jake or no? At this, the 30 year difference, Jake gets the edge. Jake, Jake will beat him, but yeah, Mike could go with you him. You think Jake's gonna beat Mike yeah. Tyson, Chell? Yeah. Hey, Jake's the real deal. I mean, you know, Chell, Mike levels. Tyson. He's 60 years old. Mike. For Mike, it will be bragging rights to never disrespect his name again. This is his opportunity to show the world that talent never fades. For Jake Paul, it's his chance to fight against his childhood idol. Just the fact that you have the opportunity to box with the great one is truly once in a lifetime. Who do you got?